let me show you how to make your own homemade pasta and none of that back stuff let's go baby hey guys so i'm going to show you how to make homemade pasta i sped it up a little bit because it's a very fairly easy um, process so i have uh three cups of flour here and i reserved four cups just in case my dough was a little too wet and i did end up using four cups and then i used two whole eggs and three egg yolks and you're going to create a well in the middle of your flour and you're going to add your eggs to the middle of that well it's going to be like a bowl of sorts so if you've never made pasta before just uh think of it as creating a bowl with the flour and then adding your egg yolks into the center i also added uh, four tablespoons of olive oil and four tablespoons of water which is not actually shown in the video so just keep that in mind so then you are going to um, incorporate your flour and eggs together in the center first with a fork and then when it becomes too thick to mix with a fork you are going to start the process of mixing it with your hands I did that for about 10 minutes where I was mixing it with my hands um, the fork process just takes as long as it takes for you know you to incorporate it and then when you can't do it anymore you go with the hand method then I did add it to my kitchen aid and I let it go for another 10 minutes until it was smooth and when you go to form the dough into a ball you shouldn't see like big hole pockets or like where it's breaking or anything like that that means that your gluten hasn't developed you want your gluten to develop so that you have stretchy strands we have strong um, gluten it's holding together well and then that's when you get to uh, the part where you were going to rest your dough but as you can see I'm still doing that process and then here we go it was too much for the fork so now you get to play just like when you were a kid which is my most favorite part of cooking is getting to play oh also I added about a half a teaspoon of salt don't forget your salt add that in there too so then you know you're just going to keep mixing this mixing this kind of getting the kneading process started and then I finished the rest with my KitchenAid. But if you don't have a KitchenAid, you're just going to have to keep going and you are going to build some strong forearm muscles, some strong wrist muscles. <laughs> you are going to build up some strength. And how you know it's going well is the flour will start to come up um, from the bowl. And that's how you know that you are mixing well. So uh, if you did this process all by hand, you would see no flour. See how there's no flour around my mixer? That's because it's all incorporated into the dough. And then this is my dough once it's finished and I'm just stretching it into a ball and you see how it's smooth. It had a little bit of crinkles there, but trust me, it was ready to go. So don't worry if you see just a little bit of like, you know, that going on. Cause I did use AP flour where you want to use like part double zero, but I didn't have double zero. So, you know, this is our at home cooking process, which you have at home. So at home, we all basically have AP flour. That's what I use. I didn't have double zero flour, which is like a more fine um, flour with less gluten that is typically used for making pasta. So then you're going to oil it really good. Don't be scared of the oil and then wrap it in some plastic wrap. And then you are going to let it rest. So I just put it to rest. <laughs> I'm joking. I put it in the fridge for like two hours you can rest it overnight you can rest it an hour but you do want to make sure you let it rest so the gluten has a chance to rest and then I went ahead and cut this in half and then I cut it into four smaller pieces and I actually rolled my pasta by hand I do have a pasta roller but it's in my storage unit so I rolled the pasta out by hand this was the part that I kind of dreaded the most but actually it was really fun and super easy so I will be doing this again until I get my KitchenAid attachment for pasta so then it's supposed to be really thin you see how you can see part of the cutting board through the pasta that's how thin you want it to be so you can see the lines of the cutting board like through there as I'm rolling it and you want it that thin like paper thin like you can you know read a newspaper through it but you know I'm just one woman so I did the best I could so then you're gonna add a little flour to it and you're going to roll it to make it easier to cut into even strips we want it like a pupperdale pupperdale pumperdale you know what I'm saying <laughs> the thicker it's thicker than fettuccine it's like hearty delicious noodles so we want a pupperdale <laughs> one of those is right i said one of those right so you're going to fold it up like you do your laundry <laughs> oh wait don't forget to cut it out make it even as, as you can i mean i wasn't like super anal about this so i just cut the sides kind of straight 
and kind of left the bottom edges alone and then I folded it like I was folding up my laundry and then you're just going to cut it into even size strips and then you're going to unroll those strips and you're going to add flour to them and then hang them on a rack and I hang hang uh I hung them I don't know I hang them hung them <laughs> on my um pasta drying rack for like an hour because we were ready to have dinner so i hung it for about an hour and this is how it looks it starts to get um dried out a bit like your pasta from the grocery store which is what you want it'd be really good to do it for 24 hours so if you want to have a pasta dinner do it the night before and dry the pasta out for 24 hours it'll give it even better texture everything so this is the finished product guys and i'll add the recipe here at the end so here's the recipe and hopefully this recipe took the stress out of making pasta and you feel comfortable and confident that you can do it as I can do it and I'm by far an Italian so go make you homemade pasta now. You got this, okay?